Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Gemini. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's find out about your current energy at this time. We're going to have a look at what obstacles are coming through, what your feelings are for someone here, and any telepathic messages you are having, um, any dreams, and what angels are coming in to help you, and the outcome. So Jupiter, hello, and we have number seven. You might want to put some numbers or take note of the numbers that are coming through in your reading in order to either add them all up and get that number to put in for the angel number meanings and put spirituality in with that, and you will find out what these numbers mean. You can do them as individual numbers or add them together uh, to have one number or with numerology that's how that works but for these answers you might be wanting to know you might just put them in as they are so we have aquarius originality philanthropy and progressive imaginings so i feel like with this aquarius being in reverse it may not be a aquarius but maybe they just haven't come in yet or <clears throat> having to do with stepping into Aquarian type energy. And that's with how you talk or your thought process, how you communicate. So perhaps you're needing to step into some type of Aquarian or Aquarius type of energy uh, when it comes to this Jupiter abundance here. We also have fixed signs, and Aquarius happens to be a fixed sign. So perhaps this is somebody that is a fixed sign that comes in that's going to give you some um, stability, uh, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. So uh, this could be too, um, Gemini, that you're going to step into these fixed type of energies as well regarding this Jupiter abundance with the number seven there. So um, you can't really see that. I'm just going to move those flowers back a bit there. So we do have number seven fixed and Aquarius as well. Uh, let's get the purple line to number eight. So it's like um, how you think here. That's like having the magician so maybe it's speaking those words into existence but remember they have to be a positive if you are speaking something into existence writing something down or speaking it into existence whatever you put out there is what's going to come back so if it is a positive thing it's going to be good for you if it's what you don't want that's what's uh, <laughs> no matter what is what's going to come back for you so and if you're speaking something to existence that is for someone else on the bad side of things, that's classed as uh, black magic. So just know um, if you're wanting to manifest good things, uh, it should be good things for everyone, including yourself. So and stay on the positive side of things. Try to see those times where you are talking to yourself uh in that negative uh energy and see it and change it to the positive and by practicing this and taking notice of when you do these things is how you're going to stay in the positive side of things let's see we have grand crossing provoker and number 11 so with the grand cross i feel like this is um Almost like a target on your back kind of thing. You maybe feel that way, or maybe this is just, maybe you've had some things happen in your life where you feel like you are picked on, maybe. I don't know. I don't see why this is coming through like that. Let's see here. Give me one more. We have solar eclipse revolution. So... It could be that this is you are um, evolving here due to this type of behaviors that you've had come through for you. 
So you can put in 47 or you can put in 11. Um, it doesn't break down from 11. Uh, 44 stays the same as well. Those are uh, 11, 22, 33, 44. Those are all um, Ascended Masters coming in to help you with some things here or giving you message uh, messages on things that are coming through here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Earth. All right, so maybe it's time to get grounded. Maybe there is some earth qualities you need to pick up on. This is Taurus, uh, Virgo, and Capricorn. Persistence, patience, and practicality. So maybe being practical about something here uh, regarding this type of energy. It's mind over matter is kind of what I'm getting there. I feel like somebody knows what this means here. There is a message here for somebody, and these numbers may indicate what this is referring to if you don't already know. So let's see what some obstacles may be coming through when it is regarding you and what it might mean to you. So there is somebody that is interested, although the card says uninterested, it is in the reverse. So there may be somebody here that is um, interested in you, but they're going to act like they're uninterested in you <laughs> as a way of maybe getting your attention or kind of getting things um, rolling when it comes to you. Yeah, you might end up getting an offer to go for a coffee and you may feel like this is out of the blue because you may not feel like this person was even interested in you. Uh, yeah, you may even be reflecting on this going, um, what is this like some kind of game or what is this? Like, I don't get it. Maybe they feel like you're not interested in them and maybe are reflecting on whether or not they should give that offer. Make it rain focused on money, getting it, hustling. So you may be uh, not even looking at love at this point. You may be getting on with your life of being in that day-to-day, -day, being in the now, and just focusing on yourself. <laughs> you may even feel like this is something you're not interested in at this time because you're too busy focusing on yourself. Um, somebody might be reflecting on this offer that they want to give, or you might be reflecting on whether you should have maybe taken the offer. Never has the facts, make shit up and lies. So you may be um, seeing this person and you may not even be interested in this person because you may already know uh, that they, they are just talking out of their hat in a sense of they have no proof, they have no facts, there is no... Um, and you may already know that this person is known for making shit up. So you may not be interested in this. Let's see here. You may have a telepathic connection with somebody. So we're going to see what kind of messages you might want to send out to somebody or what they may be uh, saying to you. Let's see here, poor Gemini, please. Oh, there is a union here. Now, you may already be in this union or there is somebody coming in for you. And it's going to be when you don't expect it. And it's going to be when you're not interested in things. You're already doing something already. It's speed up and chase the results you want. So you may be trying to um, really concentrate on self at this time. Uh, mind over matters. Maybe somebody's provoking you to try to get you to go out with them. Let's see here. Allure. You are considering this, uh, reflecting on this, because I feel like whatever this is, it may be something you are looking at. Uh, is it going to be in my way? Do I really want this? I'm not really interested in this at this time and maybe reflecting on. Ah, Twin Flame. You may even feel like this person is just making shit up, maybe even gaslighting you. Let's see what's going on here. You're going to trust your intuition. And maybe your intuition is saying this person needs some time to heal some things or you're not really uh, into some of the games they want to play. Wow. There is love with this twin flame, though. So let's just see what's on the bottom of the deck. Look deeply within and discover your soul purpose in this relationship. 
So you may not want it. There's no facts that this person's into you. They're actually acting like they don't want to. Maybe this is you saying that and they're reflecting on the offer. Whatever it is, I feel like somebody's making shit up in their uh, energy, keeping this as an obstacle to kind of get over or through this hurdle. Let's see here. You may. <laughs> Bugs. Okay, so there may be... Oh, grounded and lonely. Okay, so this may be bugging you that this person is acting so aloof to you, um, although you know there's something much more deeper within and how your energy flows between the two of you. It might piss you off a little to... Uh, and the, you may know that whoever is speaking about you and causing this uh, uninterested type of behavior from this person is because somebody's telling them a bunch of bullshit about you. So this may be bugging you. You might even be having dreams about this, how pissed off you are, because number two, uh, 20 breaks down to two. And this is supposed to be some type of partnership that is balanced. And right now, it they're not cooperating. They're you're maybe the peacemaker with things and whatever this is, whatever decision is being made or choices that are being made, there's no facts based on whatever this person is saying. You're looking to put down roots with somebody with the number two. You are looking for that partnership or duality type of energy. Um, so you may be feeling like there's loneliness here with the number 10. You're looking for that door to close of this loneliness for a new beginning, a new opportunity to come through. We have time and maybe it's been a while since you've had uh, close connections with anyone or had any um, close contact with anybody or been embraced. And, and you may be feeling some type of loneliness, but just know that that door is closing and it may be time for this person to come through. Um, let's see here. It's on the bottom of the deck here. We have fighting. So maybe you had a disagreement or, a, well, we're fighting at some point about some type of, I'm almost getting with the Five of Swords type of energy, some type of argument or conflict that may have arisen so let's see here um there may be time to change this dynamic between the two of you we have angel of inner peace so somebody is not at peace or they're thinking about their inner peace when it comes to things and you may be feeling you're at peace but there may be some loneliness still creeping through that is kind of making you reflect on things or dream about yeah, you may be feeling like you've been parked here for a while. We have the number six here and we have the number, what is that? <laughs> Sorry, uh, number 27, which is nine. So maybe for your wish fulfillment, you're looking for that inner peace. Um, you've been parked in a, a way here with the number six from actually having this come through. There's a reason though. Oh, okay, angel of release. So there may be something that needs to be released when it comes to someone or something or some thoughts or the way they're behaving. Something has to be dropped. So and released. Ah, oh, Claire sentience. You feel this person with the number eleven here. We have releasing with the number thirty-one that breaks down to four. So there is some type of, um, oh, you have a career angel here too with number nine. This may be your wish fulfillment of a career, something you've always wanted to do. Angels are going to help you get there or help you and your person if you're meant to do this together. We have clairvoyance here. So you are clearly seeing something here needing to understand what these symbols mean and uh, kind of getting into your, with the number nine, nine and 11. Wow, nine, nine, one, one. 
wow, that's kind of weird. I was going to say 911 because you could do 911 or 911 or 9911. Now, remember, you only can do four uh, numbers at a time. Maybe you want to add up all your numbers that you've had in this reading to find out what the message is, or you could do them individually or group together. So let's see what the outcome is for this. Uh, let's do the feelings first. Let's find out what your feelings are regarding this person. <laughs> 11, 11. Wow, isn't that funny? Um, twin flame coming back up again, uh, being receptive to this person uh, and what this what fate has for you you may be already all knowing when it comes to this and i know that's not here but maybe you are seeing that there is some type of connection here that you're meant to do something more with this ah rekindle so there may be some magical moments you can rekindle with this person and it's funny that this is coming through like this because this is clearly what i saw there's an orb there with somebody within the orb and it was like this bright light that was shining out of this orb. And that is what I essentially saw. Isn't that crazy? Um, every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. And I feel like um, your spirituality or gifts that are coming through, you're going to see more and more of things here. And especially when you connect with this person. I feel like there is some type of uh, mirroring here. So maybe your person has seen this as well. Now, even though you may feel lost at times, there's always a back door, especially if you aren't wanting to fight with this person. Uh, maybe they're not ready to make up. I feel like whatever this is, there is something that's coming in time here to do with some type of conflict that you're going to get over this. Uh, you're going to learn from one another. And that is what Twin Flame is all about, is uh, loving and learning a lot about each other through each other and mirroring each other and seeing yourself in this other person. And sometimes it's going to be a good look and sometimes it's not going to be a good look. So, and it's maybe things that are going to show you how you are coming off to others or how other people are perceiving you. And maybe things about yourself that you didn't know. Ah, there is some type of temptation here. So be careful of that. Um, definitely be careful of whatever it is that is coming through. Um, it's almost like... Uh, now, this could be for your person, too. There's some learning here of uh possibly about this person that's in this person's energy or in your energy this person that has no facts that just is making shit up or causing issues just to do so and we have the union all right divine soul counterparts it's a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it so you may not be interested in that's when it's going to happen we have, there's those answers you've been looking for, and you're going to get the answers you've been seeing here, needing to have that courage and the bravery, and that's also coming in that you're going to have that. Uh, you're going to have that home that you come home to, and it's going to be that peaceful, loving home. I feel like you do not want a bunch of chaos and crap in your life. Yeah, this is your new beginnings coming in. I like this for you. I feel like there's something that is worth having here. Somebody's going to help somebody release somebody. So this new beginning and this new commitment is going to come through for you. Yeah, you are going to get in touch with your spirit guides. I love this. Your spirit guide is going to be there to help you um, get through whatever clairsentience and clairvoyance uh things that you need to um, enhance these abilities in order to really come through for these abilities and have this where you're meant to do something in particular here. <laughs> I can't make it up, your life purpose. So you're meant to do something in particular here of service maybe to spirit. So let's look at this earth here. 
What is the earth about? I don't know. There's maybe an offer from an earth sign here. Now, whoever this no facts is here. Now, maybe this is a long time coming. It did say there was a lot of time in between. What is the no facts? Okay, this may be uh, a lover of your person's or a lover of yours or an ex that is doing this. Yeah, they are a fool. And you may be willing to take the risk on this offer despite what this person is saying. Look at you. You're going to look within. There's some really great fortune coming through for you when it, if this luck is on your side when it comes to this love. Now, what about the fighting? Uh, knowing how to speak to one another, um, loving uh, this person and communicating with them. Uh, maybe you are going to study them. Maybe they have certain goals. Uh, maybe it has to be being grounded or being diligent. Maybe even ambition um, of learning how to grow your money independently. And this is a student or studious type of energy here. And it's about what you can make for yourself here. And you may even talk about this. Maybe it is this life purpose that you're talking about that's going to help propel things forward for you. Ah, okay. So you may be very attractive or your person is very attractive. And this may be a vision that you have about these gifts that you're meant to be doing. You're going to have that vision of what it is that you are supposed to be doing for service here or this life purpose. You're getting those answers and you already have courage here. Let's see here. <laughs> Somebody's going to do the right thing here. Maybe even pay some karmic debts here. Maybe you've already done so. But there's some honesty. There's some balance in doing what's right when it comes to this life purpose. Okay, we have heartbreak when it comes to a union. Now, perhaps things went sideways because of this person, but this person's willing to take a risk with you, and maybe this is you taking a risk on somebody. Let's see. Yeah, this heartbreak, maybe um, this person's going to come forward to maybe speak about this. Maybe this is something that um, you did or they did. There's going to be a victory about this union, though. There is this offer is maybe taken a really long ass time to get here because that knight of pentacles almost goes backwards. That's how slow that he moves. So now I say him because it's a knight, but this is somebody that is willing to, uh, I feel like, uh, really, they already have the lay of the land. So they know what they're getting into when it comes to you. Maybe you've, uh, this is somebody from your past. Maybe this is somebody you know through your telepathy. And, or this may be that you've already had a tiff in a telepathy type of way. Where are you? Why aren't you here? I want you to come. I'm calling in someone else. <laughs> because of the patience. And maybe this is why you haven't had this person come in yet. It's because you haven't been patient enough. Maybe you've been trying to manifest somebody new to come in because the person it was meant to come in hasn't picked up their feet and got moving it or they took their sweet ass time. Oh, they'll wait. And it's like, yeah, no, I'm not waiting. Sorry, but that's, I'm not waiting for anybody in my life. I'm going to move forward. So what is your intuition saying about this person? Wow, they're going to treat you like the empress or you're stepping into your empress energy here. You're learning a lesson and it looks like you are going to become the empress. Uh, stepping into your, um, wow, and with that empress, this is that pleasure and marriage, luxury, being in the flow, being a supportive lover. You're just going to be everything that your person is looking for. Now, your intuition may be saying this about your person. Now, maybe you're a masculine and your person is a feminine. Or they're showing up in their feminine side. Take it however 
it resonates for you, just remember this is a general reading. So things may or may not um, kind of resonate. There may be hidden messages here for you that will. So regardless of the storyline here, what is your person's intuition saying about you? Wow, that you are all seeing. You have these gifts. They are aware that you have these gifts. Maybe you even perceive something here, like maybe even prophesize something that came into existence. Uh, they still want to invest in you, regardless that you are somebody that's spiritual and has clearly um, feeling that clear sentience and that clear, I think it was points. Yeah. Clearly seeing. So you may be somebody that really reads energy well through your um, signs and symbols. Maybe you're a tarot reader. Maybe you are somebody that has uh, gifts here that you're not even aware of um, and are coming into play here. You may even get that awakening and have some type of profound type of uh, experience that makes you realize there's more to life than just humans, that there's that source or that uh, spirit that is more than just man. So, wow. Now, there's I say spirit because everybody has their own religion or their spiritual, whatever the case is, um, whatever you believe in, is so and it's funny because from what i understand uh if you believe in god and jesus or through the bible or whatever the case is um it's like you know there's something more after life or there's somebody that you believe in that is lord or is king or is um spirit so no matter what your, there's something or some force that is more than just man. So anyways, um, I like this for you, Gemini. I feel like this is uh, a long time coming. Uh, you may have been very patient waiting for this to come through. Um and it's going and everything's going to come through uh, with this commitment, um, whether it's a commitment to spirit or some type of union, which does indicate there's love and a union coming through. Uh, perhaps this is you connecting with spirit. Maybe you haven't always listened um, to spirit here. So I feel like if it's love, then you know it's love. And if it's love, for spirit and connecting with spirit for your gifts, then you know that you've been parked for a reason because of needing to release something, maybe a conflict that you keep going over on your mind about, about somebody here that maybe was, uh, has a lover or had a lover and was listening to that person instead of putting their faith in you and God or spirit, however you want to see that anyhow take care you guys and look for that um free giveaway reading that i offer every month as a way of giving back for all of the ongoing support for the channel it is worth a hundred dollars and you can find that secret phrase in the community tab on my channel Copy paste that into the full moon reading of last month for August. And uh, I only go into the full moon of August reading to find those secret phrases to roll the dice and pick a winner on the 10th. So I choose the winner on the 10th and I will make sure I go into my community tab and put that secret phrase in right now. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. Thank you for all the donations and all the super thanks. And of course, for watching the videos. If you really want to help the channel, subscribe, become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. If you haven't already, I appreciate everybody clicking on the subscribe in order to propel the channel forward. It gives YouTube that indication that yes, 
we want more of this content. So I'm so happy that you like what I'm doing here and tune in soon for, um, I'll be doing the bonus reading, of course, for last month of the most viewed. And then I'm also going to do a new spread that I'm really excited to be doing. So look for that as well. And um, yeah, take care, you guys, and stay blessed, of course. And we'll see you next time. Later.